What is it about the night that gets people so scared? Think about it. The majority of people get freaked out by small, silly things, be it around their house or out on a brisk little walk at night. But they would never even think of these things during the day. And without a car or people to go with them, hardly anybody I know likes to go out at night by themselves. Sure, there are people that are brave and they do it. But it doesn't mean that they aren't scared. Maybe it stems from some distant superstition hiding in the back of your mind. Maybe it's not a distant thing at all. Maybe you just scare easily. But what then scares you? If you were walking down a quiet road in the middle of the day, you could do it without missing a beat. So why not at night? Why is it that when night falls, you would hesitate? Maybe it's that gut-wrenching silence that allows you to be fully aware of every little sound around you. Maybe it's the lack of people. Being alone is something that more than a few people fear. Fear. <laughs> Maybe it's that. The distant fear of not the night, no. The fear of nighttime simply stems from it. It. The age old fear of the dark. Ah. There it is. You're afraid of the dark. But only when you're all alone. Why is that? Could it be that being alone allows for certain things to happen that could be far less likely with company? Or is it that being alone makes that silence all too piercing. Makes your hair stand a bit on end. Mm -hmm. Maybe, though, just maybe, it's because when you are all alone in the dark, that same silence makes you aware of when you're not alone in the dark. Are you confused? That's okay. Allow me to explain. You might be the only one there that you know of. But when that deafening silence is on full blast, you just might hear something you couldn't before. What it is will depend on what you're thinking. But consider this. If you're all alone in the dark and you hear something, chances are that your mind will invent some of the most grotesque and horrifying things that you could imagine. Ah, it's louder now. That noise. It's becoming more real. With each heavy breath, your terrified body forces you to take. 
You're trying to calm yourself down, trying to not hear that noise as it gets closer and closer. But it's not working. You're getting more and more scared by the second. Your mind creating monsters a mile a minute, each more terrifying than the last. How, you think? How can I be afraid of something if I don't even know what it is? You're practically panicking at this point. The noise is pounding in your ears like a drum as you, in a desperate attempt of figuring out what that god-awful noise is. Calm yourself by remembering something your mother used to tell you to calm you as a child. There's nothing to fear but fear itself. You repeat this as a mantra over and over in your mind until finally everything goes quiet. The noise stops and you stop. But that silence is back. What a strange thing to say, you think as your ever-expanding mind begins to work again. Fear itself. What is fear itself? What does that mean? A growl erupts from in front of you as a low guttural laugh erupts from between its burrow white teeth. A smile, much too big for its face, blasted across it from ear to ear. His eyes are colorless, save for the iris, which are bone white against a sea of black. A long, gangly arm grabs your hand and then your leg and begins to pull. The figure in front of you begins to inch slowly towards you as you are gripped with pure terror. His putrid breath stings your face as you hear those words. Words which once comforted Ha, 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 ha.